After Northern troops left the South in 1877, African Americans found themselves in near slavery conditions once again. Without land of their own, they were often reduced to sharecropping, working the land of their former masters in exchange for a share of the year's harvest. Former slave owners couldn't imagine the idea of bargaining on any kind of basis with former slaves. And they believed that the only way they could continue to grow cotton was to force African Americans to work. They had to find some kind of coercive mechanism. The sharecropping system basically allowed farm workers to trade their labor for crops. African American workers, they don't have tools, they can't supply themselves with seed and other equipment. This is supplied by the landowner. And rather than being paid cash, they are paid a share of the crop. It was the economic structure of sharecropping that allowed near slavery conditions to continue on plantations. Each year you borrow money and at the end of the year, often you can't pay it back because the price of cotton is falling and what you get for your crop is not enough to actually pay off your debts. So instead of getting out of debt, they're falling further and further into debt each year. The only way for sharecroppers to pay back their debt was by providing another season of labor to the landowner. They were stuck in place. What it meant was that African-American laborers were tied down to certain geographical areas, and therefore they found it very hard to use their shares of the crop or other wages they might get to accumulate any resources and eventually purchase their own land. The system of sharecropping finally ended with the industrial boom of the Second World War. Large numbers of African-Americans left the South for factory jobs in the North, leaving behind the farms they had toiled on for generations.